Yo ho and welcome back to a new review for Juni Tyson, episode number 9. And in this episode we had the backstory of the Tiger Girl. And I kind of have to be honest right now, well I'm always honest, but really this backstory, I didn't really like it. I don't know why, it, it just wasn't for me, it was nothing that bad, but if you see her, how she was a hardworking young woman and she was in a dojo because her family runs a dojo and she was kind of the best one there, so she became a warrior who has to go to battlefields. Well, this wasn't even the worst part, but when we saw how she changed over time, even though it may seem natural as a backstory for this type of character. I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. I don't know why it it wasn't for me. And when we had her becoming more well renowned, got she was praised. She got her honors, whatnot, for all these battles, and. At the end of the day, she just became a hard drunkard, and yeah, it it was strange. So as a backstory, I think it was kind of lame. And yeah, it, I, it just felt strange to me. I don't know why, compared to all the other backstories, th this was the weakest we had and I just hope we will get better ones next week. And by the way, the dragon, he is now gone as well because the rabbit took care of him and used him as well. Well, both of the dead man twins, they lost so um, they are gone for real now and the rabbit yeah he he's not gone even though the ox and the tiger girl turned against him they fought him but it was over in an instant and yeah no when no way in hell that guy is gone so screw that for the other stuff we had in this episode with the, well, yeah, the rabbit and the talk going on about the lines between dogs and the tiger girl. Well, yeah, pretty obvious that it's over now and they will have to fight and to be honest, I can totally see how the rabbit guy is just waiting until they are fighting and then he's taking care of them as well, so no real surprise here. I kind of have to say that the quality of animation, it wasn't really a hard drop, but there was... it, it looked kind of different from last week. Especially with the more obvious use of CG. There were a few things and that were like, yeah, there's gotta be CG. No way in hell it's not. But it looked better than most of the stuff we see normally, so I am still happy with it. But yeah, this episode, I don't know. I, I would say it's overall the weakest we had and yeah, I just hope we will get back to the really, really amazing things we had so far and yeah, I just want to see the good stuff and not the meh because yeah, it's, it's time for the show to go back to the awesome awesome level of awesomeness we had so far. 
And anyway, this episode, well, it was okay, nothing too bad, but the highlight, I would say, is pretty much the hand-to-hand -hand combat between Tiger Girl and the other stuns in the dojo, and then the one of the twins at the end of the episode. So yeah, that, that was pretty cool, but the rest of it, well, yeah, we we will leave it at that for now, so... It's better that way. So yeah, I would say that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you guys next time as well. See ya!